Check, 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 check. Hello, hello, hello. What's up, everybody in YouTube and internet land? What's going on? Welcome back to Attack. It feels so unnatural without Ramones. Right. Ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and the, gentlemen. The clap. Ramones not here. He isn't here. But thank you for joining us tonight for our latest episode of Attack. Uh, we have Gavin, Jimmy, and myself, Chris. And today we are just going to be talking about whatever the hell we feel like. We, yeah. Right. <laughs> this week we we really couldn't come up with the C because we're running out of C words. We are. Current events, subjects, and uh, you know, we're just you'll see. Hey, honestly, <laughs> yeah, we're running out of C words for attack. We thought it was a clever <laughs> acronym at one point, then we're like, oh boy, we're like eight episodes in and uh, <laughs> yeah. So anyway. Uh, actually, just got back from the Ashes of the Dead show. Uh, they're actually playing over at Joe's Grotto. Um, really good show over there. They kick ass. They're playing with, uh, who else? Uh, Running Christ and uh, Six Million Dead, uh, Necronomicon. And wanted to go hang for that, but also had to meet with the band. We had to plan a couple things, such as this guy's bachelor party. Oh. Because oh, that's happening on Saturday. It's going to get crazy. The following week, Homeboy is getting married. Yes, sir. So there may be a it's slight cool. delay in regards to our next attack episode, unfortunately, just because we will be having his wedding next weekend. But as soon as we get back from the wedding, we will definitely have a, a wonderful presentation of attack. We'll throw in some pictures from the wedding so you guys can see us getting fucked. We'll just podcast at the yeah. wedding. Oh, All right. <laughs> that's a pretty good idea. But I'm sure Amanda would love that. <laughs> but like current events uh what's going on with absolute threshold right now guys my foot's feeling better oh hey audience i have a cane now i'm out of the crutches oh and gavin welcome to the party bud <laughs> so that's it's relatively nice that's an improvement and then uh be back to playing the drums because your boy's an absolute threshold we're playing october 29th over at rock bar in scottsdale so hit us up on Facebook. You can hit us up on Twitter, YouTube, just or whichever. Go to the website, absolutethresholdofficial.com. Tickets will be available soon. And Gavin, who, who else is going to be playing with us for the October 29th show? Who else? Who else? I know Ebenezer is on the bill. Nice. Uh, I was talking yeah. to Jeremy so from Howitzer earlier, and I don't know if the Astral Light's on or not. I'd like them to be on. Those yeah. guys are entertaining. Yeah, like. Uh, Ebenezer's the one that's always winning on uh, KUPD. Yeah, they just thing, kick right? ass. Yeah, well, it's, it's fucking awesome. Yeah, and you know what's funny? I, for some reason, like, I, like, 10 years ago, I happened to go to a show. They used to have a venue called The Sets, and uh, that was in Tempe. It closed a while back, like, prior to the band, prior to, like, yeah. But um, I saw a band there called Incult, and. I was like, these guys really kick ass. And it happened to pop into my head the other day. And so I'm like, yeah, let's Google it. I'm like, I wonder if they're still around. Turns out that was like the predecessor to Ebenezer. Really? Oh, okay. So, yeah, small world, just really coincidental. So, so it was some of the current members? <laughs> yeah. Or is it or is it all of them? Uh, I don't I mean, know if it's all of them, but I just thought that was cool that that was connected. That and, is really You cool. know, how that works out. So they've so. been playing around for a while then. Mm -hmm. I mean, those group of guys. Oh, totally. Okay, sweet. They, man, yeah. I'm looking forward to them, uh, seeing them. I saw them at um, Last Exit, which, dude, we gotta play that place. Where's that at? It's like kind of downtown, but almost South Phoenix. Okay. Uh, but uh, I saw them there with... Um, like in the ghetto? No, no, like, you, yeah, you're not quite Kevlar District, but... Okay. Um, <laughs> but the... Um, no, yeah, they played with, uh, with Skeeton's band. And... Like they really good with, job with Ethan's van, uh huh. Uh, Scott, hole, yes, right? Scott yeah. Ethan, Skeethan, Skeethan, yeah. Portmanteaus, and then yeah, so really good set there. And then, in fact, Spider Hole, they went on tour. They did, I know, uh, they had a touring drummer though. I think Bobby had actually, he was playing some other stuff with Salman Kills at the same time. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So awesome. they, they kind of do more a full length tour, they did, um, they did like. A good part of the Western U.S. That's awesome. Very nice. Yeah, you guys yeah. should totally 
uh, check out Spire Hole. Their music is very, um, it's very artistic. It is. I guess you could say. Yes. I mean, Super awesome. Music, but yeah. And uh, you should also check out um, <laughs> Ethan Scott or Scott Ethan. We, we always get it mixed up. I think, I think it's, it's Ethan, Ethan Scott. Scott. I think so. The guy is <laughs> so, awesome. I always call him Ethan, but he did our album artwork for our uh, CD, Defying Gravity, which Ramon will throw up a picture of that right now. Ding. Boom. And um, yeah, you should uh, check, check out his website. Uh, I, c- I can't remember exactly what the URL is. I'll figure it out. We'll put it in the description below, but you can see his art gallery. It's fucking awesome. And he does art for all types of things, t-shirts, CDs, you know, you can hit him up and uh, tell him what you want. He'll take care of you. He's amazing. And he will give you a really fair price. Yeah, definitely. And plus, uh, spider hole played with us during our CD release party that we had back in January. That with, was, was that with Ebenezer? Ebenezer. We had yeah. Ebenezer that was with them. That wasn't our... Was that our... our yeah, it was Spider Hole, Ebenezer, three seconds more. No, Ebenezer ended the night. Right, right, right. Right, right? right? yeah. But they were a part of our CD release. Yeah, 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 yeah. And yeah, they were so cool about doing the switcheroo so that we could actually play like an hour earlier. Yeah, they're fucking awesome, like just guys. For a band that kicks that much ass and like their levels above us. Uh, you know, absolutely. So. Yeah. Hey, for a lot of people that aren't in a band or play music... Um, there, there's a there's a prime time for when the show is at its best, and that's usually around what like nine o'clock, ten o'clock. It depends on the weekday. It, it, well, if it's a weekday, it's not, not any time is good. But <laughs> on the weekends, generally nine or ten, that's when most people are still at the bar, and uh, you get the biggest crowd. And anyway, Ebenezer, which has been around a while, and they fucking kick ass in the local scene here. The um, one Pladio. So. Yeah, they're fucking awesome, and yeah, they for our CD release, you know, they did. They were cool at switching the spots to let us have the prime time, and that was just really awesome because the prime time is something, you, and you have to be in a band to really understand. But it's something you you strive to get, and when you have it, you, you definitely don't want to give it up. Right. But yeah, it it's definitely been an interesting 2016 so far for us. We're already at the end of September, starting October. It's almost been an entire year since we dropped our first album. I know we're coming up on that. It's crazy. 2016 has been a crazy year. I mean, I became a father. Yeah. I mean, I'm getting married in a week. I got a house. I'm going to be having Chris a Chris just closed at the on his house year. this week. <laughs> Atta boy. But no, like life does happen. And just like with, with the tack, like this was a brand new thing that we literally started about, but like about a month and a half ago. Yep, just about. Yeah, yeah. About a month yeah, and a half ago, and like yeah. we we definitely appreciate all you view, viewers coming out and watching this series with us. Uh, we definitely want to keep on bringing out uh, more pr- productivity, essentially, from us. Exactly, and and I actually would like you know for you guys to comment to us whether it's on the YouTube comments or in Facebook. And let us know what you, you would like for us to talk about. Like, if you have any, you know, we'll do a Q&A. Like, if you pile up the questions, we'll totally answer all those questions. We would love to do that. So, moving forward, I would love to get a Q&A set up. And so, please, comment with questions for us. It can be to an individual band member, to the band in general. Um, it doesn't have to be band-related, personal, you know, whatever. Like, just ask us a question, and uh, one of the future episodes, we'll go ahead and go through that list and, uh, you know answer whatever you guys ask us. Like, I think it'd be interesting. It'd be cool to like periscope that episode too. Like you yeah. do like literally live. Yeah, record, absolutely. Right? Yeah. We could totally do something like that. That would be, that'd be pretty legit. Um, and since Gavin brought up that RC kind of RC today's uh, current events. So with you guys uh, so far, this within the past, like few months since we've been kind of on a hiatus cause we've been writing new music because We've been playing the same stuff for the past, like, four or five years. <laughs> oh, yeah. um, what, like, how do you guys feel so far, like, with the new material that we've come up with? It's good. It's progressing. It, it is. I love the, the new music. It is, uh, like you said, it's progressing. It's showing the band really coming into, re- realizing what it is. The sure. band is really realizing what it is. You know, the previous album, more than half of it was written with, with David, our previous drummer, and uh, with a few songs, you know, Gavin came in and, and fully had writ. Mm-hmm. Writ. 
Right. Wrote, you like, done written a song. Done writ. <laughs> <laughs> um, so this next one is completely 100% absolute threshold absolute threshold it it is all the members of the band collectively writing this and it has a different tone and a different feel and it has much more you know we've grown as musicians it has a lot more technicalities um, i feel like it's a lot heavier than a lot of our original music that we have as a band like with uh lo and behold and acromion from our like from our last album that we just dropped um i feel like this new album that we're going to be coming out with is going to be, I'm not going to say like, it's going to be freaking heavy, but it's, it it's going to be, it's it going to be a little bit more like Jimmy was saying, it's going yeah. to be a little bit more technical. It's going to be a little bit heavy. It, it is going to be a little bit heavier just based off of a few of the songs that we have, except for of course our ballad that we still haven't come up with. <laughs> yeah, that's true. I think as um, there's more structure, if you will, I think we were trying and just really like, no qualms about it. We're trying to write catchy music. Like, yeah. We want to write music that people jam to. I mean, we want to entertain. Absolutely. So I think it's part of it. I mean, not like artistically, you know, trying things avant-garde, yada, yada. But it's also like, like one of our goals, and I think you guys are on board, but like we want you to hear the music and say, God damn, yes, play that again. Okay. So, yeah, absolutely. And I really feel like on this album, we're we're really going for the emotions and feels, like bringing that the out of you. The feels. Like, I, I, I feel like the, you know this song. The, these songs we've been writing are really relatable. And uh, Chris is telling me how to do this because I'm <laughs> like a two year old, I guess. It, it, last episode, he was keeping us on track, and now he's making sure he's just the moderator for these podcasts. Um, I call technical. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but uh I, I feel like this album the music is really relatable a lot of our songs on our last track were really um what's the word i'm looking for like uh it i can't think of it off the it's, top of my head. it's those albums like, you're right where you're telling stories it, and i was I, exactly thinking well, the same thing what the fuck are, what are they called? concept concept album concept the album. last album was very concept d with the exception of few, a few songs and i feel like uh, our singer, especially on these new songs, have got has gotten really personal, um, you know, with the lyrics, and it, it's something that people can really relate to. Versus, like, as one was totally, it's just a story, like a graphic novel story. Yeah. Mm. And there's not a lot of relation you can have to it necessarily. Um, and also, like with as one, like probably one of the best ties to that song. I know that they're not next to each other on the actual album that we have but helpless and as one if you essentially take the the entire song of as or helpless and put it right before as one it builds a story essentially from the the beginning of helpless where like essentially it's about a guy who is helpless (laughs) (laughs) and you know if you download the album you'll know what he's talking about yeah Yeah. (laughs) but like or you can buy the album and we'll ship it to you and you'll get the full lyric book with it and you can actually read and see what it says but like um helpless talks about the guy who's essentially helpless and then as one is he's by himself but he's trying to save the world right then he becomes helpful (laughs) (laughs) i don't like our description of it (laughs) Well, <laughs> you got read, read, read if you lyrics. own it, read the lyrics. And if you don't own it, like, what are you doing? What are you even doing watching this? Was Ten a, views. There was a bit. <laughs> Ten <laughs> views. <laughs> yeah. So. As you can tell, we haven't prepared much material no, for it, tonight's podcast. So like, oh, what should we, uh, I think, yeah, the acronym may, may have ran its course. but Oh, it did. But well, prior to the show, we were deliberating for 15 minutes right. what the fuck we're going to talk about it that's fun but if you gotta play it by ear though because that's what people want to hear or well, i hope like hi mom and then you know but well, like what other current events are going on with us i know that uh right now we've been on a hiatus but we're, our first show coming back after like essentially like a three-month break at this point in time is going to be our october 29th show um, I know that Jimmy over here has been working with uh, some leads over in uh, L.A. to try to get us some shows out there. Yeah, how's that going? How's that going? I contact him once a week, and he's a really busy dude out there in L.A. He he's a huge promoter around the scene, and he runs his own label. 
Hmm. And uh, anyway, yeah, I contact him once a week, and he's like, remind me every Wednesday. And he's just really busy, but um, we'll get out there. We'll get out there. Yeah, because our, our ultimate goal before the end of this year is to try to essentially do like a, a weekend warrior deal where we go out of we go out of town for the weekend we hit up a couple shows play them and then essentially drive back home try to play a show that before the end of the weekend and then go back to our normal jobs. yeah if any of you live outside of the phoenix area and uh, you know of local venues that bands play at please like let us know what those places are so that we could get in contact with them so we can start playing the shows so we're really looking to branching out and even outside of Arizona. I mean, we want to play hit up Flagstaff and Tucson, but we really want to go into California and Nevada. And, and we really just want to Colorado. like, we want to connect the entire metal community. Like Phoenix, we have our metal community. Like it, it's pretty solid at this point in time. Like everybody's kind of talking to each other, trying to get shows together, but we're trying to build outside of that community as well. <laughs> Gavin's giving us this really smug look. Oh. Like, <laughs> when we, we use the word we, we mean Gavin. Gavin. It's all good. The, um, that's true, though. No, like, we actually, yeah, we should be getting on more forums. And then it, we'll, we'll work it out. I think just at the same time, there's a lot going on with the band. So big changes, you know, Absolute Threshold talks about changes. I mean, you know, Ooh. Jimmy, marriage, child. Chris, child, house purchase. Yeah. Yeah, have we brought up that Chris is about to be a dad? We did at the beginning. We did? Yeah. Of today's show? Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. Well, now you do. Cool. We'll drop. No, I thought you were going to be a dad for a while. Hey, Ramon, cue up the CNN breaking news. This is CNN breaking news. Anyway. This is in. Right? Chris is about to be a dad. Is it fatal? Is it fatal? Probably. No, it's fetal. <laughs> oh! But. And there's the blank where we don't right? know what we're talking about <laughs> anymore. That's because everybody's tired and everybody works. But it is a little late yeah. on a Thursday night. Right now. Um, yeah. But um, yeah, what else is coming up? Um. I know that uh, recently Soundphoria just uh, started doing their newscast for upcoming shows within, that's right. the, within the music community, and uh, that's being hosted by yourself and... Joe Bertucci from Ashes of the Dead. And then, um, yeah, so trying to really create more of a local media, because, I mean, like, you can't depend <laughs> on radio. And I know, like, even if the off chance of KUPD here is this. You guys don't do anything about the local scene. Uh, you have Into the Pit. Wow, great. You play that like, what, six to nine on the Sunday? Like, way, way to do the scene is solid. It's actually they're, two to... They're the fucking so, worst. They're based out of Phoenix. So... Or Tempe, right? That's where KUPD is located. Tempe. Yeah. Mesa. And they're... They fucking... They, they put on this... Playdio, right? That's their like battle of bands where you submit their music and they play it over their yes. channel. And all they have to do, they, they just shit on the current local scene. I remember we had sent in our music and they, they asked for like a brief bio so they can read it before they play your song. And, you know, we, we had explained that we were out of out of Clifton and uh, Arizona, which is a really small town. There's no opportunity. There's nothing there. Not, nothing there. And so... We moved to Phoenix so that we can start playing shows and start getting into the scene. And, you know, we explained that. We said we moved to Phoenix in uh, 2012 for, you know, opportunity. And they're, they were just fucking like, why the fuck would you do that? Like, there's no reason you would come to Phoenix. Like, if you want to, like, make it big in the industry, you need to go to L.A. or whatever. They have no support for the local scene here at all. And the local scene here is one of the most beautiful things. Like, it's just such a loving community that it supports each other and has been building this uh, big array of, uh, of, of of music and I don't know. I just have no respect for that radio station at all. Plus, whenever all you're playing is Metallica. It's like next up, we have Metallica followed by Avenged Sevenfold and Godsmack. 
And, and Metallica later on. Not it's that I don't love all of those bands, no, but yeah. like, there's just a lack of variety. It's like, you know, actually, this decade's produced a lot of good oh, yeah. bands. Plus, all they're That's, playing now is all those like pop rock bands that are like uh, pop evil. Boring. And, boring. Oh, God. But, but, but like, what, whatever, right, I'm done. <laughs> and just kind of like playing devil's advocate for it, it is a great opportunity for bands who they actually do. Sure. Except onto the show and like they play their entire song. It's like I never heard Concertina before. Like I never saw them yeah. live, but I heard them on Palladio. I'm like, these guys are, are awesome. awesome. Absolutely. It's a great thing for the community that they do that, but that's not their intentions. They're not on there like, oh, this would be awesome to get these local bands and like get them some exposure and stuff. No, I feel like they treat Playdio like it's an obligation that they have to do. Right. It. Yes. Yes. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Like, uh, and then, meanwhile, <laughs> whatever, it's the vlog, I don't care if it's on the, like, you have, like, I don't know John Holmberg, but, like, all right, he's got his band Sodomizing Linda, which is the stupidest band name I've ever heard, but, Isn't like, that his uh, wife? I don't know, but it's, 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 like, it's retarded, but, um, I don't see a ton of people from the local scene wanting to go see that, like, you'll have people that maybe, yep. like, go to, like, like, you know, like, a bigger show, like, oh, wow, the Holmberg guy. But meanwhile, and, you know, I I saw like three people out of the music scene RSVP on the Facebook page. And it's it's like, dude, if you don't support the scene, like if the DJs and I'm talking directly to you guys at KUPD, if you really wanted to have a bigger influence and if you want to increase your ratings, I know you guys are doing well. But if you want to make it go beyond that, because you can make money out of that. Participate in the scene. Actually show up at shows. You, and you not might not need to. Yeah, not just when Slipknot or Black Sabbath rolls. Exactly. Right. Not, not KUP or fucking Five Finger Death Punch sponsored shows. Like you need to support every single music or all the music that's actually out there that is in Phoenix because you guys are a Phoenix, Tempe, Mesa, Maricopa County essentially based radio station. You should support your local scene, like. We're not just ragging on you guys because we're we we got kind of shafted because we sent in a shitty copy of our music. I'm I'm, I'm just being completely oh, honest. Did. No, and I agreed with them. It started playing and I couldn't. Yeah, it was, it was, it was no, bad. I don't, I don't. We're, we're not we're not trying to shaft you guys. Yeah. we just want to bring up a, a realization that we want you guys to support our local music music scene, even though it's not necessarily profitable for you guys. It makes a better image for you, and it shows that you actually care about the community. They don't care. <laughs> no, they don't. Have and and you know who does care about the local Sorry. community here? Um, fucking Alice Cooper does. Alice Cooper kicks ass. He is awesome. So a lot of if if none of you are from the area and you're watching this, uh, Alice Cooper is he's from here, right? Or just yes. lives here. Oh yeah, he grew like, up he's here. He's native he Arizona, oh, yeah. and yeah, and he loves the 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 local scene. And I, I've been to a couple of shows where, like, he's... He's just fucking hanging out. He's he's a, um, a, a few local bands he's really grown to love, and he's helped them out, got them on big bills, and um, helped them... I don't know if any of them have really become... I, I do know he uh, really got... Uh, what's that one? Black Veil Brides. Like, that's a band he was really into. And that's he, all right. Like, he yeah. helped them get into the professional scene you want to call it but um he cares about local bands and he wants new bands to come into the industry and create new music and he's always looking for that and he's he's fucking amazing and it it would just be so helpful if a big radio station like kupd cared like that but we should buy a radio station uh, we should Mm -hmm. absolutely Mm -hmm. then there's no radio stations here that do that there's the 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 web stations right that, that play local music all the time. Um, There's a good mix of them, too, like, uh, yeah. like Sofa King Radio, uh, Dust Bowl Metal Show, yeah. Who, who's the guy that Metal that, Station. Who's the guy that will he- headbang to anything? Like a jackhammer? Oh, what's his name? <laughs> Mike Trujillo? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Mike? He is out he at, at a lot of shows. <laughs> I haven't seen that guy in ages. But I I, I think he really like, randomly unfriended me on Facebook. I'm like, oh, all right. Sorry, we just have an inside joke. Sorry, he, pal. He just fucking rocks out at anything. So one day we're walking down the street, we hear a jackhammer going. I'm like, dude, that fucking guy. He's like, it's loud. He would totally I'm like down. Jam out to this jackhammer out here. Um, Hi, Mike. 
I, <laughs> I don't think I've seen him since like when we were Blue Star and we played that show. Actually, that, that was an awful show that we played up in Prescott. Yeah. That was at the Drunken, Drunken Last. Last. Yeah, yeah. Drunken Last. Yeah, yeah, he was there. Yeah. Yeah. Me. But that's cool, though. I mean, like he, that guy went out of his way to film that. and Yeah. Film it, put on his radio station, and Mm. get it out to the community. It's stations like that I just have so much respect for versus the KUPDs of this world. And, yeah. And and any time a a radio station has five-finger death punch on repeat, I just... I I don't get it. It, You know, how can I draw the analogy? It's like the real music is Bernie Sanders. And then like this other shit, like this like five finger death punch garbage is like Hillary Clinton, where like it got crowbarred in. Like you weren't supposed to be what is, but it's funny the you game's say that right. too, because like five finger death punch gets so like uh political in sense of like they're always supporting the troops. I feel like that's why they got shoot in. Like, Dude, they milk is, that. That is for money. Shit out of Come that. on. And, like, and, uh, unless I and I don't know the guys if I don't like that band at all, so I don't know anything about them, but if they were all veterans, then cool. Like I totally, that. absolutely. But I don't think they were. No, but they're always no. like I just. They're just you know, like musically, they're tight. Just lyrically, I think they're cheesy. I just think if I was a if I was a U.S. veteran or somebody currently serving, and I listened to Five Room Death Punch, I'd just be saying like, you don't even fucking know. Like guy in Slayer. Yeah. <laughs> 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 oh. Oh. Man. Just look and like I saw them live. At the marquee, like I don't know, eight nine years ago, and they put on a pretty good show. But like that song, White Knuckles, which I actually really dug, like I'm taking back control with my knuckles. But the guy pauses for like a minute, just wants silence, and like it completely killed the flow. I'm like, damn it! Like, I, like this was the exact moment. Like I wanted mosh pit. No, this isn't fucking sound of silence from right uh, as fucking kill switch engage plays. <laughs> Disturbed. No. Yeah, the Disturb is Disturb silence. also, uh, at, it's from As Daylight Dies, too, by Killswitch. Oh, yeah. Is that called Sound of Silence? No. No. I may be wrong. <laughs> <All right. laughs> I know this is what you're talking about. Fact checking. Yeah. But nonetheless, though, we're going to uh, be bringing you guys some more podcasts. We are probably going to go back to the drawing board to possibly think of another acronym for for attack. We don't need an acronym. It's the absolute threshold cast. Right? It is I the mean, absolute yeah. threshold cast. <laughs> we're overthinking things. Right? Yeah. Um, but we're probably going to not be posting a video for a week or two, probably. Um, I, I know next week we won't get together at, with the wedding and all. No, we'll do so. it at the wedding. Like yeah, that's, that, that's right. We'll do it at the wedding, and then I'll forever <laughs> hear that from my wife about fucking... Yeah. yeah but so. we will... GoPro helmet cam. God. We'll get a <laughs> podcast going for you guys here shortly, as well as uh, we're going to be bringing you guys the next session of Soundphoria's. Yes. So coming up, your local shows. Check out the Soundphoria cast. Great, Scott. That, All right. That's pretty good. All right. We'll just so, end this now. Is that, I mean, we don't have we don't have any more content, but. Definitely uh, check out some some of those local bands that Gavin just showed us from the Soundphoria clip. And we will be playing October 29th over at Rock Bar. Mm -hmm. And it's going to be an awesome time. Oh, yeah. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe on this video, please. Or dislike. If you fucking didn't like it, dislike it. Absolutely. You know, tell us that we're Let us know what we need to do to make you happy. And, and start asking us questions because we really want to do a uh, podcast episode where we're answering your questions. Like, a- anything goes. Like, just ask us. Yeah. Thank you. And right here, we're going to put a picture of a cat smiling. Another cat? Bro. Can we give an elephant that's, like, standing on a ball... Yeah. And he's like at a circus. Right. And, and then and then, and then flames. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking flames behind him. Like Ramon, you've got you've got that. And then like a drop D power chord right now too. With yeah. that. Thank you. Right. Yeah. And right. this is our song going to be. Yeah, as one this time. As they, one. They fucking didn't put it last time, bastards. As one. As one. Alright. It's been time. real. Thank you so much. Support local music. Support Phoenix music. We're out. Peace. Rock on.
Yeah.